This is a lesson on using mental math to add. Um, it is lesson five in unit two, whole numbers. So um, we're going to use mental math and that means that we're going to use strategies to add numbers in our head. And we're no longer just estimating, we're also finding the real answer, okay? Um, and so we've got a problem to start here. It says students from two schools went on a field trip. There were 227 students in one school and 134 students in the other school. How many students went on the field trip? Use mental math to find out. So, so that means that you can't use a calculator. And then record your answer here. So um, basically use any strategy that you can. If you can, um, just add this in your head, then that's great. But if you need to write it down and use any strategy that you already know, you could also do that too. Okay, so pause the video, answer the question, and then play again once you're finished. Okay, so you should be finished by now. And um, so we've got this many students in one school and this many students in the other school. And we want to know um, how many total. So we can write 227 plus 134. And then uh, we can use mental math strategies. And so that's sort of looking at the number and making it easier for ourselves. So it's sort of like estimation, but now we're finding the, the real answer, okay? So um, if I look at this and I think, okay, this is pretty close to 130, and this is pr pretty close to 230, I guess, and I added three here and I took away four here. Okay, this is, this is what I'm thinking in my head. So I'm going to add 230 plus 130 first, and um, that will get me 360. See, I can add that in my head because the 2 plus the 1 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay, so then that, but then I added 3 to get this, and I took away 4 to get this. So that means that um, now I need to um, adjust for those. Okay, so if I added three, now I need to take away three, and now I need to add four, right, to, to even it out. So that means that I just need to add one more to get 361. Now this is something that I would do in my head though, right? So 230 plus 130, and then I know that I went up three and down four, so now I need to go up those, but they kind of cancel each other out, and then I just go up one. Okay, and then if I wanted to check, I could use one of the strategies that I may have learned in previous years with smaller numbers. Okay, and then I could do this. This way is uh, a way that we'll learn in the future, but if this way it does not make any sense to you, then just skip to this way. Okay, so 7 plus 4, that's 11, and then we've got 6 here, and then we've got 3 here. So 361. So this was my mental math strategy, and then... Um, I showed you how to do uh, another way, right? Um, if you're going to do this way, just make sure that you line up all of the ones places, the tens places, the hundreds places, and so on. Okay. So um, there are many ways to use mental math to add. Uh, you need to find the way that works best for you. So the way that I showed you was one way, um, and I think it's on here too. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we did making friendly numbers. So uh, let's review that. So if we have 198 and 343, um, and we want to make friendly numbers, so those are numbers that are easier for me to think about in my head. So basically taking away the ones and sort of rounding and then adjusting later. Um, or just sort of taking a little bit from one number and then putting it on the other number to make both of those numbers easier to work with. And that's what this has. So 198 is only two away from um, 200, and 343 is only two away from 345, which, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> but this, this being so close to 200, 200 is such an easy number to add to another number, because it's just add two to the third number. Anyways, um, so I can take that two away from 343, because that's easy, I can take two away from three, it'll be a one. So that leaves 341, right? So if I add 
three to this side, then I have to take away three to, from the other side to balance it out because it, whatever we do, we need the number to end up being the same, right? And then so I'm left with 200 plus 341. So that's much easier to do in my head than these two numbers here, okay? Because all I need to do is add this two to the three and put 41 again, and I'm, I end up with 541. Okay, so that's, that's friendly numbers, and it, you have to use that strategy if uh, the numbers are close enough that you could make a friendly number, okay? Um, and so even if you added like the one number on top of the other, you would still get 543 because that's what 198 plus 343 is. It's like if I went um, 8 plus 12, and I know you could probably do that in your head, but if I were to take 2 from 12 and put it onto 10, I, I mean put it onto 8, I would end up with 10. And then 12, I took 2 from 12 and put it on 8, I would end up with 10. And then I get 20. So that's a way you're using mental math. Like that's something that I do in my head to think about what those are all the time. Especially when uh, I'm adding what you got on an assignment or something. I use friendly numbers in my head. Okay? So that's friendly numbers. Um, and then another way is counting on. And so if we have 170 plus 348, and then... Um, First, we could add the larger numbers. So 170 plus 300. That's easy because we just have to, have to add this 3 to this 1, and then the rest stays the same. So we end up with 470 so far. Okay, and then all we have left is this 48 to add to it, right? So now, next I count on by 10 four times because I've got this 40 here. Okay, so 470, 480, 490, 500, 510. Okay, so I'm left with 510, but I still have this 8 to add in there. So I add the 8 to the 410 to leave me with, I mean 510, sorry, 510. Um, and that leaves me with 518. Okay, so um, you're sort of doing it in, in a process. So you add the bigger numbers first. And then add the smaller ones as you go and you'll get the answer, okay? So that's another way to do mental math and figure it out mentally. Again, if, um, if this doesn't make sense, then maybe adding from left to right will. So this is the last mental math strategy that we'll talk about today. Okay? And um, <clears throat> so it says adding from left to right. So I start by adding the hundreds. 300 plus 200. Oh, sorry. This is... This is the question. Uh, 353 plus 260. So if you're adding from left to right, you're going from this side to this side of each number. Okay, so I start by adding the hundreds together. So the hundreds, I'm going to add 300 plus 200, and that equals 500. And then I'm going to add the tens, so 50 plus 60, and that equals 110. And then I can add 3 plus 0, and that equals 3. Then I just have to add these together. So 500 plus 110 plus 3, and that equals 613. So that means that 353 plus 260 equals 613. Okay, this one is a little bit longer, but I think that it's a more simple way to do it. And this one might be a favorite for many of you. Okay, um, and then if another strategy works for you for mental math, then use that. These are some, three of the most common ways, and they and they work well. Is but you might need to practice them to get good at them. You might not be good at it right away. That's why we do an assignment. Okay. Um, we'll do a couple examples on the back here. But we've got page fifty, and it's just numbers one to two. That is sixteen questions, so you still do have an assignment, but it's just it seems small because there's many in there. Okay, and then you have a back of a paper that has nothing on it. And so let's let's use mental math strategies to add this number. So write this number on your paper. It's 645 plus 146. Um, pause the video, use mental math strategy to add it, and then see uh, if you got the right answer by playing the video again. Okay, so with this one, um, I am going to use friendly numbers, okay? Um, this number is really close to 145, 
All I did was take away one to get there. So I'm going to need to add one later, right? And then I'm going to add 645 here because I know 45 plus 45 is 90 and 6 plus 1 is 7. So I would end up with 790 and then I just have to bring this one back down to get 791. Okay, if I was going to uh, use the last strategy that we looked at, then I would add 6 plus 1 is 7, and then 4 plus 4 is uh, 8, but then 5 plus 6 is 11, so that bumps the 8 up to a 9 to be 791. Okay, um, so that's, that's, a, that's what we're doing today. Next day we'll get more into uh, using conventional strategy to, of adding, but this is a great uh, ability to do if you can use mental math to add.